your Daisy Plaza TV here, a local internet TV. Great. And uh, it is an honor and pleasure to see you here. Thank you. Welcome to Dallas Fort. Thank you. It's great to be in Dallas. And what a wonderful evening. And you can feel the energy in the room and all the contributions that people have made over decades. It's, it's such a nice event. Yeah. Absolutely. I would like to, uh, you know, have your message for our Indo-American community here in Dallas-Fort Worth. Sure. It's not as big as Houston as yet, but we are getting there. Sure. Well, this community has done so much to contribute to the state and to the country. Uh, I was talking to uh, A.K. Magu, who said that when he arrived in Dallas, there were a thousand Indian Americans, and now there's about 150,000. So it's incredible, involved in all aspects of life and just doing terrific things for the economy, for service and medicine, education, so many areas. So it's an incredible community and I'm really, was really happy to be here. Absolutely, and I would like to ask you the similar question that the lady asked you at the podium, but um, what are your expectations? Look, I mean, going forward, like next to five, 10 years, not only as India as a country growing and also Indo-American relationship. Yeah. So I'm very optimistic. Uh, you know, by 2030, India will lead the world in almost every category. Number of people, number of college graduates, size of the middle class. So, look, this is the country to watch in the 21st century. And as I said, I think the U.S.-India relationship is the most important relationship for the United States uh, in this century as well. So we really got to work at this. It's on a great upward trajectory. But the people-to-people -people relationships are what form the basis of it. And that's, that's what you saw here tonight. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. <laughs> okay, all right, sure. Well, first of all, thank you so much. It's an honor you. talking to you. Well, thank and you. I wasn't, I, I didn't know that the very first chancellor is an Indian American and the longest serving chancellor right. so for the Houston University. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. Well, thank you. And um, uh, your thoughts on today's function and your, I want to congratulate you on our excellent Q&A with ambassadors, your feelings. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you know, Dallas is such a wonderful community and um, it was great crowd here, wonderful, wonderful people. Mm -hmm. It's very inspiring to see so many successful Indian Americans. Uh, I definitely feel very charged up and I'm very humbled to be here. Well, we all are inspired of your presence here. Okay. It's absolutely brilliant. And um, your thoughts on today's evening, you know, how did it go? And, and you know, what do you expect from such gatherings right. of Indo-American community? So it's, it's always nice uh, once a year to pull together and recognize the best talent and so award ceremony, award banquet is it's a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. But even more than that is just the establishing link, establishing network mm -hmm. and being inspired by one another. So it's beautifully done. Mm -hmm. And I know there is one every year I attend in Houston as well, but it's always a special to come to Dallas. Oh, that's very nice. It's, it's an honor for all of us. I want to, sh uh, you know, uh, share a little yeah. bit thing when you said that you come from UP, you come from Hindi medium. I come from MP and I come from Hindi medium school. Oh, really? <laughs> and here I am MP because my in-laws are in MP. So I am. I was born in Ritlam and I was raised in Chhattisgarh. Oh, okay. My in-laws are in Gwalior. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> so it's it's such a. Uh, it just felt very happy. I felt very uh, good, and I felt really proud. And um, I would like to, you know, ask you to g give a message to our ladies here, uh, especially Indian uh, ladies coming here. Sometimes they find it very difficult to adjust they're still looking so coming from your mouth I think it'll be a perfect message for all of them yeah, well um, I'll just give the same message I give to my daughters mm -hmm. and that is um, more or less in Maya Angelou's words that uh, life um, you have no control what life gives to you you have no control on what people give to you but you definitely have control on how you take it that means never ever feel victimized uh, get up and try again um, because you are the source of energy, you are the source of power and you can do anything you want. Excellent. Thank you so much for your lovely words and your time. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. once again.
successful evening. Thank you so much. How does it feel, both the ambassadors, distinguished guests, and everything well according to the plan? You know, um, the credit for the event uh, goes to the entire chamber team. It's always a team effort, and uh, we're really lucky to have a wonderful board, an executive board, and, and our, a great staff who help us to do these things. We wouldn't be able to do it without them. And our chairman, as he mentioned in his speech, you know, we're a chamber of our members and for our members and by our members, really. So, you know, we try to carry that through in everything that we do, and, and I think that came through tonight. So we're very delighted. Absolutely, perfectly done. Um, what is our chamber's goal in the next two, three years? Would you like to share that? Sure, you know, our chamber's goal is, is really to continue building um, bridges between the U.S. and India, North Texas and India specifically, and, and specifically in the area of commerce. You know, we really want to see more American companies doing business in India, feeling comfortable in the Indian market, um, and, and seeing more Indian businesses, you know, enter the U.S. market and, and bring us new products and services to help diver diversify our economy. That's awesome. And um, also your message for the DFW, uh, you know, uh, Indian American community, the way it's growing, you know, uh, a lot of people are coming uh, through the jobs We're already there in different parts of US, but then a lot of new people coming in from India. What will be your message for those uh, new entrants to the American Indo-American community here? So my message is, is, is really twofold. One is bring your best because we want your best. And two, it's, you know, um, this country is great and has been great for decades because of the many fine qualities that have developed in Amer American culture over, um, you know, really over, over centuries and the values that the country was built on. And I would encourage all, you know, new entrants into DFW to learn those values and learn how to embody those values and live those values out, bringing, like Dr. Kator said, the best of India and the best of America to get together to, to make something even better. Well said. Congratulations once again on the success of the event and look forward to seeing you again Thank next you so year. Much. Thank you. Thank Good you. luck.